Hello, I'm George, welcoming you to an incredible experience. Hollywood candy, right here in Omaha, Nebraska. Let's go inside. And once you're in the experience, the challenge really begins because everywhere you look, there's something new and there's something different. Here you'll experience one of the biggest jelly belly displays in America. Flavors from green apple to Tabasco and everything in between. And by the way, he's here in person with us. Meet my friend, Jelly Belly. Fudge, fudge of incredible variety. O for Omaha, and all of it made right here at the experience. I love going to the movies, and I'll bet you do also. But where you go to the movies, you won't find this variety of movie candies. For goodness sake, while at the experience, don't pass up the opportunity to sample our homemade candies made right here in the experience kitchen, like the giant PB Splendor or an all-time popular chocolate-covered bacon. Incredible. So here's a challenge you're going to have during your entire visit to the experience. <laughs> Which way do you go? Here we are on one of the most popular aisles at Hollywood Candy. This is the aisle of glass jars. Glass jars filled with an incredible variety of individually wrapped pieces of candy that you can enjoy individually or take home in a larger quantity. Did you know that in 1931, Nebraska was introduced to its first food truck? Well, the food truck industry has evolved a lot since then, but this food truck has been welcoming guests to Hollywood candy since the very beginning.
While here, don't forget to stop by the Hollywood Diner. Years ago, a lot of people collected pins, believe it or not. Here's our pen wall, obtained from a collector, a farmer, out in western Nebraska. And this wall contains pins of almost every description from the back roads of America. Visitors here to Hollywood Candy especially appreciate the multicultural feel down one of our aisles. For example, over here, a huge selection of Hispanic candies, while on the other side of the aisle, a wide selection of Asian favorites. If you've ever had problems keeping your ducks in a row, well, you may want to visit our selection of ducks here at Hollywood Candy. We have a bunch of them. Hey, if you're enjoying your visit here at the candy store, don't forget to tell other people about it because it truly is an adventure. Hollywood Candies in Omaha. This is the Walk of Fame. This is the aisle where celebrities over 20 now are acknowledged during their visits to the store. And by the way, like that Walk of Fame in Hollywood, ours is constantly evolving. Many years ago, I began my career in a booth just like this as a disc jockey in a radio station. Here at KREJ, Hollywood Candy's own radio station, we're proudly to announce the availability of over 40,000 vinyl collections in our Vinyl Vibes area.
show. Now, the person behind that helmet is Larry, the owner of Hollywood Candy. Now, Larry has been a Pez enthusiast for as long as he can remember, and that's why there are so many available and on display here at Hollywood Candy. As a matter of fact, here and only here will you be able to obtain the exclusive Nebraska Cornhusker Pez dispenser commissioned by Hollywood Candy. As a matter of fact, you're going to find some dispensers available here and nowhere else. Pinball wizards and music lovers for sure will want to spend some time here in the Pinball Museum. Over 40 working vintage pinball machines that you can interact with in a room lined by over a hundred classic vinyls and vinyl covers that simply can't be found anywhere else. This is the Pinball Museum. It was here in the Pinball Museum where the very popular mother-daughter music duo, The Bells, actually began their music career with a music video shot here on location. Showcased in this room is a number of very rare vintage bagatelle games seen along the upper walls. And by the way, the term pinball was derived from pins and balls used in bagatelle. Some of these machines date back to the beginning of the last century. Hey, want something really different? How about taking a look at the guitar pick collection? Over 800 picks used by notable musicians over the last, well, 30 years, all collected by an Omaha roadie at concerts and backstage. Guitar picks, who would have ever thought about it? But a whole wall full of those and drumsticks, by the way. Picks from Billy G, from the Eagles, from Tracy Adkins, from Prince, from the Rolling Stones, all here on the pick wall. This is unbelievable. Oh, the, I, I claim to be pretty good at pinball. I bought a machine for $25 in 1946. Built a small empire out of it. It was the best business I was ever in. I peaked very early in my business career. It's been all downhill ever since. Warren made his first trip to Hawaii uh, yeah. when I got yeah. married, and uh, Melinda's gift to me 
was that she had Willie Nelson come and uh, sing the night before the wedding. So this is has got special oh, what uh, a, history yeah. for me. When I was a kid, the big thing to do was listen to your hit parade presented by Lucky Strike. Be happy, go lucky, and they would, and they would start with number ten to work their way up to number one. And, and Glenn Miller was probably number one. There, there's a there's a Glenn Miller. Oh, uh, here album. we go. Yeah, and I, I I can probably hum any one of those songs on there. Dum 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 I'll take the whole place. Let's just get it all. Now don't pass up our variety memorabilia area here at Hollywood Candy. For example, a jersey from uh, local Pat Vendetti, a great baseball player still playing in the major leagues and the only player in the major leagues that pitches both right-handed and left-handed. And because of that, Major League Baseball is still a new rule called the Vendetti rule. But you'll see it here and enjoy it in our variety memorabilia section. So you purchase an old building that was once a ice cream manufacturing plant or a creamery and a part of the building had slanting floors for drainage purposes. Well, what do you do with a room where the floor slopes all the way down to the bottom? You put in a movie theater and that's exactly what has happened here where you actually watch movies or better yet, this room is used often for weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, you name it, but an ingenious work done on a very old, outdated building. See this old piano? See this video? See Lady Gaga? Well, it was Lady Gaga with this piano in the making of this very popular music video. That's it. We hope you've enjoyed this experience as much as we've enjoyed presenting it to you. So come back and see us again soon here at Hollywood Candy. Next time, bring family and friends because this truly is an experience.